North Koreans actually they really enjoy partying. They like music, uh, karaoke. They like drinking, uh, and they love absolutely love dancing. A far cry from the images international media, such as the BBC and CNN, normally uses to portray the country. A triumphant North Korea says its latest ballistic missile test demonstrates that it now has the capability to strike anywhere in the United States. Still, there are tens of thousands of Americans in Kim's line of fire. More than 28,000 Americans. Best-selling author and expert on terror financing, Loretta Napoleoni wants to change the way we think of the DPRK, also known as North Korea, and read extracts from a new book exclusively for CGTN. Nicknamed the Army State, North Korea is so secretive that separating fact from fiction is often problematic. Indeed, the mystery surrounding this country has proven advantageous for other nations. In the post Cold War era, the DPRK has allowed us to regard it as the ultimate dystopian society, an evil benchmark against which the spreading of democracy always appears positive. Even Iraq or Libya are perceived as better regimes than the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. North Korea is the enemy we all love to hate. Napoleoni says the West has the tendency to perceive anything that is different as a threat. This is the reason why she set out to uncover what she sees as the truth about DPRK. Well, I think it's important to say the truth. Uh, and the truth is clearly not uh, what we've been reading in the newspapers or listening to the radio seen on TV um, in 2017. Um, I mean, this is why the title of the book North Korea, the country will have to hate. Her. The first thing Napoleon wants to change is how we think of ordinary people living in the DPRK. There is a life uh, that is similar to our life. Uh, of course, everything is much more simple. We do not have the complexity of life in the West. But that doesn't mean that Koreans don't laugh or you know don't have a good time. As we do, they go to the beach, they go skiing, they go for a walk, they go hiking, exactly like us. So why does she think the media in countries like America, where she lives, wants to paint such a distorted picture of ordinary people's lives? To a certain extent, we want to project this image of North Korea as the evil state, as the antithesis to our democracy as the ultimate dystopian state because this is comforting for us. It is the enemy we love to hate because it's perfect to fit that stereotype of the enemy of the West. In the end, Napoleon thinks recognizing the humanity in different countries rather than just playing up stereotypes is the way forward.